In this video, we are going to see the derivation of PN junction diode junction width. Okay. Now, before going to that, we have seen in the introductory video on PN junction and the further video, we have seen how the charge distribution is in the PN junction diode of this immobile charges. In P side, we have uncovered negative ions fixed in the lattice and uh, positive ions in the N side. And for now, we are assuming the P side is heavily doped and N side is moderately doped. So that's why we have this plus symbol to indicate heavily doped. When it is heavily doped, we saw why this junction, why this width in the P side will be less compared to the N side because the number of uncovered charges in the P side to equal the uncovered charges in the N side, the width will be less to uncover those many charges in the P side. Okay. Whereas in the N side, it will be more because the concentration of the dopants will be less. I mean, the number of at dopant atoms will be less with respect to the distance. <clears throat> so that's why we have depletion width more. And we are assuming all these conditions under thermal equilibrium of this PN junction. Now, we have seen previously that the area of, of this positive uh, graph and the negative graph should be equal because the diode is charge neutral. So these two should be equal. <clears throat> and if that is the case, we saw QND times XN, that is the area, should be equal to QNA times XP. We can rewrite this as ND times XN equals NA times XP. Okay. Now, if this is the charge distribution, we have seen how this field distribution will be. I mean, electric field distribution. This is how it looks. And E max, that is the maximum electric field, will be at the metallurgical junction, which is equal to Q times Na times Xp divided by Epsilon, which is also equal to minus Q times Nd times Xn or Epsilon. <coughs> and we have seen if we integrate this, oops, if we integrate this over the negative, okay, with the negative sign, we get how the potential is distributed, okay. Now, this value will be equal to V0. <coughs> now, this we know it is minus Xp. This is Xn. Now, V0, we can write V0 equals to the area under this curve, right? So we can rewrite this as half times E max times Xp, the magnitude, plus half times E max times Xn. We can rewrite this as half times, okay? E max, we can take this as common and Xp plus Xn is nothing but W, okay? That is the junction width, fine? And now, <coughs> We know V0 with respect to W. V0, we have seen how it is derived and we know the value of V0. If you are given the doping conditions and the temperature, we know how to calculate it. Now, only thing is we need to get this Emax in terms of the dopings or whatever it is. Okay. But we know this Emax is in this equation, right? <clears throat> now, let's take, you can solve this by taking either of the equation. But for now, I'm going to take E max magnitude here, Q and D times Xn or Epsilon. <coughs> now, before going to that, let's take when Xn plus Xp equals to W and we have one equation which we saw before that this is the important equation. Okay, Nd times Xn, Nd times Xn, let me rewrite this, okay, equals Na times Xp. <clears throat> now we can rewrite this xn xp w in terms of xn itself okay or xn in terms of w we want okay now substitute xp xp we can rewrite this as nd over na times xn right if we substitute this in this equation we can get xn out we write nd over Na 
equals w then xn will be equal to n a or n d plus n a times w right this is one more important equation now this makes a very good sense actually because <coughs> xn will be n a or n d plus n a fraction of the w the junction width and we know that if n a is high okay x n will be high that's what we have seen right when n a is high here n a is high right when n a is high x n is high right so this equation tells us that particular part now if we can write this in terms of x p also which will be equal to n d over n d plus n a times w right now these are important equations okay <clears throat> now uh, let's take this v naught equation okay okay w times e max e max we said we are going to substitute it with this right now if you substitute xn with this particular equation we can rewrite this as 1 half 1 by 2 times w q n d over epsilon xn is n a over n d plus n a times w we can rewrite this equation which is half q over epsilon n d n a or n a plus n d times w square now w square can be written as 2 epsilon v naught over q times n a plus n d or n a n d okay times okay that's it okay now we can rewrite this equation w equals 2 epsilon naught v naught you can write this v naught as v b i okay which is built in potential 1 over n d plus 1 over n a whole power half this is the equation for depletion width okay now in deriving this depletion width we have assumed a particular condition which is known as depletion approximation okay so here we assumed that the depletion is is abrupt at this point and abrupt at this point but in reality it is not right but we have used the depletion approximation keep this in mind depletion approximation which we discussed in the previous videos okay we used depletion approximation and drew this and based on that we calculated electric field and then potential uh, across the diode and then we arrived at this equation but v o or we call it as v b i built in potential that is an accurate equation because it didn't involve any of these assumptions it's an accurate equation right this is how the equation looks for this depletion width of the diode 